My name is David Witt. I'm a full-time illustrator. Uh, I'm here at my home in Highland Park, St. Paul. Uh, my studio is in the basement where I do most of my work. You've probably seen my work around town in a couple different ways. There's the zombie pub crawl that I've done all the artwork for for the last 10 years. And then I've done all the covers for the Growler magazine. Uh, and that's coming up on the three-year mark uh, next month. Other things, band t-shirts, uh, posters, event posters, gig posters, the Triple Rock, there's a whole bunch of my posters there. And the Louis the Loon comic that uh, I did for two years at Heavy Table, which then now also appears in the Growler magazine. The horizontal is always for the Growler, and then the vertical was done for the Heavy Table. Louis the Loon started when Jim Norton from the Heavy Table contacted me because he was asking around because he thought it would be cool to have a comic style food review. Well, I do everything by hand um, using traditional media. So it's paper using pencil and ink and I ink with a brush. And uh, if anything you see of mine that's in color and isn't a screen print, it's all uh, color with watercolor. So ink and watercolor is kind of my primary means of illustration. So it's messy and you can't make a mistake but I've been doing it long enough, so I'm not afraid of the mistakes, even though it's always in my head with every brush stroke, don't screw up, don't screw up, don't screw up. After the color's added, I always go in and re-ink it just to make the blacks really black. So every time you see a color image of mine, I've inked it twice, which now that I say that is completely ridiculous, but it's true, and then it's done. Then it's scanned, sent off, and used for wherever it needs to be used. Influences started with comic books, and it's still comic books, and like I do comic books too, and I've been working on a project for a while. Uh, like 70s comics and 70s horror stuff. Um, science fiction, um, movies. Uh, I mean, a pretty large host of inspiration. Well, my wife and I, we have two dogs. There's Wally and Roger. And Wally is the terrier. And then Roger is the, the Basset Hound Dachshund. Every chance I get and I'm allowed to, I will put them into an image. Uh, they've both separately been on a cover of the Growler. Uh, they're both on the mural that I did at the Ale Jail. Wally is in the new Saints yearbook cover for the 2015 season. I've got tattoos of them on my arm. They're my first two dogs and they're, they're the best dogs. And this is the original drawing for the main menu screen of Guitar Hero 2. And it's, um, I did it like a screen print. So there's like a red layer and an orange layer and then it says Guitar Hero 2, and then you can pick like what you wanted to do right there. <laughs> so this is the main menu screen for Guitar Hero 2 Rocks the 80s. <laughs> Again, similar format, but this was like 80s color colors, so it was like neon greens and stuff, and neon pinks. Like 10 years ago, the, the gig poster scene in the Twin Cities was like really starting to take off, and all of us that were doing gig posters at the time don't do gig posters anymore. Like the gig posters all got us our names out there and our work in different places. And then from there we took our graphic abilities and all kind of branched out and been doing our own things. And I just, I've always loved food. My first comic book character was called The Living Lettuce Man. It was always about food and then now beer too. And then working with the beer dabbler and the growler for all the beer stuff, like it's just absolutely this perfect storm of everything that I love. My idea for the Posters and Pints print this year, that's a lot of peas. Posters and Pints print this year is uh, lawnmower beers. And uh, I did a mural at the Ale Jail two years ago that I've been meaning to make a print out of and this seemed like a, a perfect opportunity. And it's a giant beer can pushing a lawnmower and then drinking a beer which uh, for some reason people have said, well, that's cannibalism, but no one has a problem with the pig eating ribs and those ads are everywhere. So that, yeah, refreshing cold beer and uh, pushing the lawnmower on a beautiful day. So you can see my finished print at uh, Uppercut Gym for posters and pints on May 30th. Uh, lots of beer, lots of art. Uh, so it's pretty much guaranteed to be a good time. Pretty soon Roger's gonna start rolling. That's, that's his defense mechanism? Yeah, because he's so low. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Roger, don't dig in the yard. No! <laughs> that's new.